Ecclesiastes chapter 20. If there is a reproof that is not comely, again, some man holdeth his tongue, and he is wise. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly, and he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt. How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance, for so shalt thou escape to willful sin. As is the lust of an eunuch to the flower of virgin, so is he that executeth judgment with violence. There is one that keepeth silence and is found wise, and another by much babbling becometh hateful. Some man holdeth his tongue, because he hath not to answer, and some keepeth silence, knowing his time. A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a bubbler and a fool will regard no time. He that useth many words shall be abhorred, and he that taketh to himself authority therein shall be hated. There is a sinner that hath good success in evil things, and there is a gain that turneth to loss. There is a gift that shall not profit thee, and there is a gift whose recompense is double. There is an abasement because of glory, and there is that lifts it up his head from a low estate. There is that buyeth much for a little, and repayeth it sevenfold. A wise man by his words maketh him beloved, but the graces of fools shall be poured out. The gift of a fool shall do thee no good when thou hast it, neither yet of the envious for his necessity. For he looketh to receive many things for one. He giveth little, and upbraideth much. He openeth his mouth like a crier. Today he lendeth, and tomorrow will he ask it again. Such an one is to be hated of God and man. The fool saith, I have no friends. I have no thank for all my good deeds. And they that eat my bread speak evil of me. How oft and of how many shall he be laughed to scorn? For he knoweth not aright what it is to have, and it is all one unto him as he, he had it not. To slip upon a pavement is better than to slip to the tongue, so the fall of the wicked shall come speedily. An unseasonable tale will always be in the mouth of the unwise. A wise sentence shall be rejected when it cometh out of a fool's mouth, for he will not speak it in due season. There is that is hindered from sinning through want, and when he taketh rest, he shall not be troubled. There is that destroyeth his own soul through bashfulness, and by accepting of persons overthroweth himself. There is that for bashfulness promiseth to his friend, and maketh him his enemy for nothing. A lie is a foul blot in a man, yet it is continually in the mouth of the untaught. A thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie, but they both shall have destruction to heritage. The disposition of a liar is dishonorable, and his shame is ever with him. A wise man shall promote himself to honor with his words, and he that hath understanding will please great men. He that tilleth his land shall increase his heap, and he that pleaseth great men shall get pardon for iniquity. Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. Wisdom that is hid, and treasure that is hoarded up, what profit is in them both? Better is he that hideth his folly, than a man that hideth his wisdom. Necessary patience in seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. 